Plans for the wall have been approved. Cuban commandant died. The UK has left the European Union. Which has caused a big crisis in Spain. They have also aligned themselves with people to test ballistic missiles. Thanks to me, Tropico is an undisputed paradise. But the values of our paradise are now being threatened. Threatened by populists and despots. I, El Presidente, will prevent this. I accept the nomination for another presidential term. I will make Tropico even greater, even bigger, and even better. Instead of walls, I will build bridges, bringing Tropico's islands and people together, rather than separating them. New means of transportation will offer great opportunities of exchange to you and our visitors. I will bring diversity, culture, and the wonders of the world to Tropico, so that all other nations will look upon us with envy. Vote for El Presidente! Vote for Tropico 6! Or else... The entire audience was fake. Okay. All right, Tropico Six. He just said Tropico Six in the intro. I guess he, I guess that must be them referring to like the. Sure, do a benchmark mark test if you want. Whoa, stuff got better looking all of a sudden. All right, so I have a particular connection to this game a little bit in the back of my head that's largely undeserved. Uh, I had a copy of Tropico Two or Three, I think, and I basically didn't play it. But it still stands out to me because it was the first ever garbage computer I ever bought. As a kid, I saved up money, however the hell I was getting money back then, to get my own computer because I was getting hooked to like Diablo 2 and my brother was hooked to it and we would be fighting over the same computer with a dial-up connection. So eventually we both reasoned to diverge from the family computer and save up and get our own computers and so on and I got a garbage e-machine from Best Buy and it came with a copy of Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 some other game I can't remember I just remember there was three of them and Tropico 2 or 3 and so that's my that's my primary exposure to Tropico is I I played at least one session of it back then I definitely got a lot more time out of out of Command and Conquer but then got back to my original purpose which was to play Diablo and have infinite access, and nobody could take it away. Uh, but let's check this out. This is gonna be a it's a different theme for a, a city builder, or country runner, I guess? Also, explicit reference to Brexit and Trump in the intro. Like, we're not gonna be building walls, and, uh... The radio for a second there said that the UK left the European Union, which actually hasn't happened yet at the time of this game coming out. So... Boom. Spoilers. Spoilers for the future from video game. It's like the time I played Return of the King's Xbox game before the movie came out, and it had scenes from the movie in it. You're like, oh shit, that's gonna be in the movie? Like, like a month earlier. That was weird. 
Welcome, Presidente. Before you present yourself to the proud citizens of the Tropican Nation, please check your outfit. The first impression is the most important, after all. I mean, he was already in the intro. It feels weird to change him now. Ethnic type? Okay. You can pick some colors, I guess. And your beard color. Whoa. You can go pharaoh with it. Oopsie. Uh, no. There's outfits. Oh, yeah. Look at all these. You can dress yourself up like a judge. Roman Emperor, Pharaoh. Okay, this is abs this is absurd. Honestly, I'm happy with the starter dude, so I'll just give you guys little previews of some things, but so you guys can see what's in here. But honestly, I'm, I think I'm happy with Default Boy. All right, let's uh, let's uh, start. Right click, yeah. Exit. Show me that video game or the the intro. Sure, let's do a tutorial. Uh, basics and economy. This is always a rough genre to preview because it's it, the tutorial's longer than than the usually longer than the videos that I make for them. But you know, the point is just to let you guys know, hey, this thing's here. And if you want to check it out, you can check it out. I often bite off more than I can chew with these videos, but the alternative is to not cover it at all. Welcome to Tropico. You are El Presidente, the dictator of Tropico. A small but thriving nation located somewhere in the Caribbean Sea. You will build, expand, trade, and issue laws to guide the Tropico through four turbulent historical eras in which you have to face global superpowers while trying to juggle interior political factions. How you'll be remembered? How will you be remembered? As a benevolent leader who caters to the people? Or as a ruling dictator with a, a dictator ruling with an iron fist? Whatever you choose, the main thing is that you stay in charge. Intr introduction to controls. Okay. Hola, Presidente. It is I, your loyal penultimo. With a workout for your mighty brain. A formality, I know. For one of your brilliance. Yet, even a politician savant must stay in practice. Please demonstrate a few of the leadership techniques with which you intend to impose your laws. Your flaw uh, impose your flawless will upon the nation of Tropico. Penultimate... Ponultimo, I can't get over the fact that that's his name, is prepared to gasp in awe. You just met Penultimo, your personal assistant and most loyal consultant. He has presented the main task, which you need to complete in order to finish your first tutorial lesson. Main tasks are... are okay, let's... I think I'm sure we're fine. This is a lot. Keeping track... In the task screen. I don't think I need to have the concept of, of goals explained in great detail, so let's skip over the reading. Hi there. Whoa, right click opens a menu. Hey there. Whoa, they're going. They're going. There's the tiniest little people. They're farming. Alright, so we have a farm, we have a dock. Whoa, whoa, the zoom is fast if you roll it. What's the deal over here? Ah. Natives. Or the ruins thereof. Got volcanic activity on a different island. Alright. Nope. View tasks. Okay. Open the task screen to view each current task. Yeah. Whoa, 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 oopsie, whoop, okay, there we go, activate archipelago view, and whoop, that's just the whole island in one thing, okay, pause the game, set the four, okay, this is a lot of t tutorials, there we go, I did it. I am so proud of you, Presidente, your control of your tropical is absolute. Your loyal citizens do whatever you tell them to do, Presidente. Select the Teamsters office and inspect its description tab. I just want me to read about things. Okay. Let's check out what Teamsters do. 
Organizes logistics on one island. Transport goods from production to processing buildings. Uh, transports goods to, uh, to docks for export. Without a Teamster office, no goods get moved from one place to another. Even with one, don't hold your breath for swift delivery. Oh. Oh no. The dock, they got boats. Trans shipment center for logistics. Handles the import and export of goods. Handles immigration and emigration of people. Decreases the crime safety nearby. So it makes crime worse? On every island in Tropico, docks provide merchant seamen the facilities to load and unload cargo, a place for stowaways to acquire free travel services, and scoundrels somewhere to sneak and lurk. What's with these arrows? Are these my new guys? Tropican. I can kill them for $1,500. Oh no. Or institutionalize or arrest. Oh no. A nice little preview at how our horrible society we have here. Oh, is this person a political dissident? Uh, let's put them in the insane asylum forever. Connect the mine to a new road that connects to the existing road. Okay. So we have a mine. Road. Oh, there's the mine. Cool. And... Oof. Oh, I just deleted those houses. Um, we'll just ignore that. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Export gold. Wait for the freighter to export goods. Got it. The game's pretty enough. Not like hyper detail assets or anything, but like it's it's pleasant to look at. The color scheme's really nice. Ah, I keep right clicking. For like the ocean and islands and so on. Do you have a hedge maze? Of course you do. How do I make a hedge maze that says something in, like, the Fez language? Let's see, so how exactly does one export? I guess I can take a look here. Oh, it's gonna automatically export, so I just need to wait. Oops. I don't actually have to tell it to do it at all. Is that the next freighter? Taking your sweet time, huh? It's only the entire ocean. What's taking so long? Hey, guy. That ray is massive compared to that boat, by the way. Just want to point that out. It landed aggressively. See ya. I sure hope I did that correctly. Yeah, no, it says automatic. Because we've connected the mine. Work mode, almost human protocol. So you can do risky things here. You can increase the capacity of teamsters by 50%, but they... The boat. It looks so tiny from here, but I doubt even you could lift it. Build a tavern. Yeah. It's another source of income. You don't get quite as... You don't exactly get exports, but you're still making money. It looks like you can... Yeah, so you're you're risking here. The uh, t you can increase the teamsters' load by fifty percent, but they have a five percent chance to lose, or they have a chance to lose five percent of their stuff. Yep, and then here you can increase their efficiency at the mine by fifteen percent, but reduce their job quality, and increase their shifts. So you get to be a dick at every corner if you want to. There we go, a tavern. Plop it right in here, huh? Uh, rotate. There we go. I think they want me to put it over this thing. Just destroy this house right here. You don't need a house. We need taverns. Screw houses, evidently. 
I like how the palm tree showed up before the scaffolding was even gone. Build a tannery and produce leather. All right. It's time to build up our industry. Which, uh, oh, there's the road. There we go. Gotta have the output actually touching the road, or I'm gonna have to build roads to touch, to attach them, and that'd be a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run in mega high speed constantly, just so the game doesn't, uh, ever take a while to make stuff like leather producing happen. You know what? Let's be risky. Oh, man. Boom. Exciting. We're gonna risk losing stuff left and right. It's gonna be all sorts of fun. Well measured. Oh. Yeah, I don't care about what you have to say. That's fine. He gives me new objectives, which are just to do the other objectives that keep that. They, they, they don't. He's an entire system that's redundant. Have the active export trade route for leather. Okay, this sounds like it might be more complicated. All produce to goods are exported automatically, but there are some basic ways for you to manage your economy to save costs. Improve workflow and increase your profits. And this is what this lesson's all about. Since you are currently producing leather anyway, you can commit to a leather trade route to get a better price for a certain export volume. You cannot fail a trade route, and you have unlimited time to complete it. Okay. So we go here. Um, where's leather? Leather. Leather. Plus 10%. Plus 20%. Plus 40%. Oh, red. Oopsie. Red is an import. And green is an export. That's why it's redder. So, yeah, having having a higher price for an import is worse. But having a higher export is good. Uh, processed report? Yeah, leather is processed. Okay. I just wanted to filter it down. So these are the three leather options. These two are, bo are both exports, so that's the better price. Let's start, let's start with a simple one to make it easier. Yes, I want to, I want to sign the shit out of this thing. All right, let's do it. Expanding. I have a ranch where cattle values between 90 and 100. Place a cattle ranch in the best location. Connect the cattle ranch to a, low, a road that's connected to existing road. How, so where do they get their quality from? Because we need the cattle for the tannery. We have a colored overlay that says the best location. Okay, cool. Let's find the greenest. Okay, no. Let's zoom out. There we go. Try this, try this again when I can see. Look how green it gets over here. Just plop it over here, right next to the tannery, apparently. Oh, cool. The road will automatically bend towards it. That's neat. Just sleeping on four times. It's a tutorial, especially, so. The idea of something being mismanaged and running too fast in the background is probably not much of a risk. This is neato. Empty in stock. Yeah, because of lack of this happening. So that really messes with my ability to do what I wanted to do. Maybe I should build more. Just build another ranch. Uh, they're not, not that expensive compared to how much money I apparently have. Plantation. Unique. I take unique to mean you only build one. Set the budget for your cattle ranches to maximum. Check the efficiency tab of the building info on the ranch. Wait for the cattle ranches to be fully staffed. Okay. Boom. Maximum budget. Let's get in there. That's what I did. Yeah. Oh, control. There we go. For all, all of the units of this type. So conditions negative 5, but budget's plus 25%, so its efficiency is 120%. It has a negative condition. I wonder why. Is it fully stacked? Oh. It'll be fully stacked when they get one more person, it looks like. Oh no, they, uh... No, it's, it is fully staffed. That person's just not here right now. There, there, there's two men who are well off and two women who are poor. Interesting sample size there. Hey, 
Hey yeah, there. Everything looks so strange in four times. <laughs> Install chrome tanning in the tannery. So it makes it makes things better, but it also makes it uh, more expensive to run. Decreases consumption of hides by 25%. Very expensive. 5,000. Damn. You can increase efficiency by 50%, but if you're willing to deal with double pollution and double upkeep. Damn. There's a risk. And we've, we've successfully finished the trade route. Cool. Fire one worker from the tannery and choose one worker slot at the tannery. Oh. I'm a great boss. Alright, we're, we're just gonna fire the shit out of this guy. Goodbye. There we go. Switch the dock work mode from sniffer dogs to regular controls? Oh. Some buildings can operate on a different work mode that affects the function of a building. They can improve certain aspects while hindering others, or even change the main purpose of the building entirely. In contrast to upgrades, work modes can be switched at any time, allowing you to re react to changing circumstances. Sniffer dogs. Ah. So sniffer dogs reduce crime, but also reduce efficiency. But I can be like, eh, that sounds like it's good for people. Fuck it. And then just get rid of it. And just deal with the extra crime as a result. Humane exploit. We're on pasture prohibition. Ranch does not decrease the fertility in its vicinity. Increases the efficiency by 15%. Or just go back to basic. Humane exploit. Hmm. Oh no. So this makes it 15 15% slower, but we're but we're preserving the environment. But I'm like, fuck that. So many ways Destroy it. The fruits of the tropical economy. I don't need no sustainable future. That's for cowards and people who live a long time. <laughs> Tropico land. Why was it called Tropico Six? Is the president named Tropico, is that why? Is, are they saying vote for the sixth term of Tropico? Uh, your job would be so much easier without the citizens. Perhaps one day we will be able to replace them. Shacks. Construct two bunk houses next to the Fisherman Warps on Volcano Island. It's because we need to actually let them live. So it makes your place look bad, and it makes it so that the people that live there aren't very happy. But hey, some nice cheap, uh, nice cheap garbage homes. A bunkhouse right here. Do you want me to put it directly over that, or what? Which side of this is the uh, street, or does it not matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. It just wants you to build two of them. Yeah, we're fine. Number one, number two. And let's go maximum speed. Those trucks just keep disappearing. It's spooky. They're coming from this direction, going that way, and vanishing. Oh, one of them's coming back now. Oh, there they go. I thought they all just vanished into that house magically. Select a citizen working at one of the fisherman's wharfs. So they're able to afford housing based on their income, so you need to check. Like, the people that live there. Poor, 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 poor. Oh no. He's very poor, yeah. Open the info panel of a fisher and inspect the happiness tab. He's vaguely positive above neutral, so that's pretty good. That's most- that's better than most people. That's neato. His housing is a low point for him. Housing, faith, and job. 
we can trick them into becoming happy with a tavern. Yes. They could become criminals, join the rebels, or even die if the food happiness drops to zero. The food happiness. What a sentence. Yes, I lost my food happiness stat, where I, I ceased to food happy anymore. I don't think I have to put it where they're pointing. I'm gonna put it over here, right next to the ta uh, the two. All right, that that's shipping and that's fishing. And here's tavern, right around the corner, where the two can converge, and then go home to the place where they live, which is right next to the other place where the other ones live. What a day to be alive. Now, if you could if you could tavern a little faster, let's go to archipelago mode and view. Oh, we're in the same map. It's just expanding a bit. So here's where I worked last time. Uh, it definitely looks different this time, though. Then there's this area, which that must be the El Presidente. That was definitely empty last mission. And then here's here. So we've jumped to the third island. We're just going to check out the happiness stats in the almanac. Fun! Uh-oh. So here's where you can check out your stats for how things are going right now. Not going great. I can do with more entertainment buildings. Inspect all three islands in the fun coverage overlay. Oh no. Only the only the fancy president island is fun. The other ones are distinctly unfun, especially the lava. The lava is specifically not fun, as it turns out. Shocking everybody. Build a tavern on Waterfall Island and Center Island. No. There's already one. Waterfall Island's fine. Leave them alone. All right. Oop, put it right next to the big capital building where it looks completely out of place. So how'd you guys get the cool name of Center Island? That's pretty uh, exciting. You're like the island in the center and they called you that? Man. Blowing my mind. Not within the designated area. Waterfall Island, Center Island. You must mean this the one in the center, I would assume. It'd be weird if you didn't mean that. Not within the designated area. Where is the designated area? I just built one here, right? Yeah. Liquid Melancholy. Wow, what a name. Oh, like weirdly behind the building? Why would I build the tavern there? Oh, there we go. If I put it there, it'll be on the road. I'm like, what? <laughs> they want me to put the tavern right here. Oh, do they want me to destroy the shacks? Okay, so the shacks must be generating because they don't have enough housing, so I need to add more proper housing to get rid of the shacks, right? I can probably work on some of that while I'm waiting for all this other crap to get done. Mansion. Let's debunk this shack problem. Ha! <laughs> Everyone happy is impossible, of course. So you have to play the numbers. In brief, you are number one. I am number two, and everyone else is way down there somewhere. We now come to the troubling part of your job. Not everyone knows you are doing such great work. How crazy is that? Am I gonna make up oh, political views? It's time to start that whole control everyone's brains part. 
Look at these moderate capitalists we got here. How do I destroy you? Use their moderate capitalists, their diehard religious. Approval's up there, all right. The politics tab in the almanac. Oh no. There's two more capitalists than communists. They must be destroyed, I think. Are we communists? Accept and complete or reject the faction demand. Demands. So you will have to a good uh you will want to have a good standing with each faction. So no, it's it's about playing them against each other and not necessarily one that's on my side or not, or not on my side so far. They have up they have opinions on a lot of the decisions you will make, like building or demolishing certain buildings. All of these factors are listed in the politics tab in the almanac once they have taken effect. On top of that, they will approach you directly once in a while with specific tasks called demands. You do not need to accept those if their objectives do not correspond with your vision of Tropico. However, completing them will significantly increase your, the standing, while not reacting or dismissing a demand will decrease the standing. I had the nightmare again, Presidente! No, not the penguins! The destruction of Tropico by falling bombs! To make a watchtower in this half of the year, or lose standing with the military. But he's just framed as being a delusional, scared person. What a good sign. I'll put it over next to the dock where crime happens. Actually, maybe this one. Bloop. Oh no, people live right there. They're probably not gonna. They're probably not gonna like that. It's fine. Don't worry. The important thing is to get to the next objective. The ninety. I have ninety-nine percent of approval of my massive country of 200 people. What a population. Era outline. Whoa. There's like a bunch of categories up here. Whoa. Oh, Presidente, that's a relief. For a second there, I thought you were the Hun. <laughs> Can't be too careful. That's what the propaganda says, and I should know I write it. <laughs> Sit down, pour yourself a drink. I'm Winton Marlborough. Very pleased to meet you. Perhaps you can help me lose this damned war a little slower, eh? It's the... Yeah, it's the England and United States tab. Do not be concerned by my physical severity, Presidente. I have a condition of the face muscles, which means that I cannot smile. Nevertheless, our relationship shall be a friendly one. It is preferable that what benefits the Axis benefits Tropico. However, if for some reason it does not, you shall comply anyway. Hmm? In this way, we shall be friendly, yeah? Let me guess. You're thinking, f a nun. <laughs> oh, I better not swear. You have no idea what a sister of the Order of the Howling Skull is, do you, Presidente? Or how one wound up on your tropical island, ministering to her flock? I'm Sister Francesca, and I've walked a long path to enlightenment with Faith as my guide. But that's a different story. Do not fear the sanctity of your borders, Presidente, for I, General Rodrigo Rodriguez, lead your army. The very model of a modern armchair general, my lack of direct wartime experience gives me the edge, as my stratagems are completely unadulterated by any knowledge of past battles. I can therefore guarantee that the enemy will be surprised. I'll be with you in a minute, Presidente. I'm just counting my money. <laughs> Only joking. I wouldn't be with you in this lifetime if I had to count my fortune first. Mason Belmonte is the name, and money loves me, Presidente. And you know what? The more I have, the more I want. The comrades wish me to introduce you to all of them personally, Presidente, because none of us are more important than the others. But that would take a long time, so I will somehow strive to represent all of the comrades all of the time. I am not Marco Moreno, proud communist and family man. No, I am the very will of the people. Oh boy. That'll be interesting to juggle. 
Did she say the order of the howling skull? Just to make sure that they don't piss off any religious faction, huh? They become the most cartoonishly what? Religious faction ever? The order of the howling skull is the local religion. Okay. Is that watchtower ever gonna get finished? I guess whenever I'm when I'm listening to that other stuff happen, it's it's paused. Is there like a meter or something? You can do it, I believe in you. Man, they really cruise by. Oh, look at the tiny boat. Whoa. Look at that guy. Look at her freaking row. And get run over by larger vehicles. This is lo We're getting a lot of traffic here, actually. For our population, which also has gone up, for that matter. So that's neat. High priority, damn it. Quit, build it fast. I'm gonna just instantly build it. Screw it. There we go. Yay, objective complete. Presidente, your aid is appreciated. With your help, we'll double our armed forces, redouble our efforts, and halve our expectations. A good leader listens to the people, Presidente. Show you care for your Tropican comrades and win their hearts and souls, though you do not get to keep them, okay? Speaking of souls, I'd imagine that El Presidente is looking forward to joining me in heaven rather than going to the other place. The Good Shepherd looks after the sheep, don't you agree? Oh, you're, you're, you're facing a tough choice. Although it's a poorly... It's a poorly contextualized choice. Like, why can't I just do both? That's framed as being opposition. But anyway, so that's, that's, that's Tropico. You run your island nation, you try to become prosperous, you try to please the various factions. But above all else, above all else, you try to stay in power. Link in the description if you want to check out the game for yourself. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.